Hi, this is Tanya with another Technique by Tanya tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these new flowers that I've started making. I'm not sure what a real good name for them would be, but I'm going to kind of refer to them as pinwheel flowers. Let me see if I can get that a little bit closer and you can see uh, what we're going to be making here. There's quite a bit of dimension to these. Um, I have used them on layouts and this particular one is on a card. So let's go ahead and get started. First I'm going to tell you what supplies you need. Um, what you'll need to do is to get something that cuts in a circle. I have a scallop circle here. You can use any type of shape but obviously it does need to be in a circle. Um, I've seen a reverse scallop. I've seen pointy circles, like a zigzag edge, but I've got a scallop here. You need to cut eight of the same size of circles out of the same paper. Um, I do like to use double-sided paper for this because a little bit of the back side will show and it just adds a little bit of a nice effect to your flowers. So, like I said, you're going to need eight of the same size and the same shape of a circle. So I now have eight of these and I like to just ink my edges up a little bit. It gives a little bit more dimension and excitement to the flowers, the petals on the flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up real quick. And then I've got another one that I've already inked. Did it pretty, so you have to watch me do two of them. Um, so go ahead and get your eight petals, ink them all up. Then you need um, another circle of paper. This doesn't matter what it is it, because it's going to be completely hidden. So it can be just a piece of scrap paper. This circle needs to be, um, it's going to be a little bit bigger than, well actually it could be smaller, it can be bigger, but about the same size as the circles, the scallop circles that you've cut out. This is actually going to be what we're going to glue the petals onto and you won't see it. Um, so, go ahead and get your pieces. Take your first piece and you're going to turn it over to the back side, flip the back side up and you're going to fold it in half. Then you're going to take that, fold it in half again, and one more time, fold it in half. Okay, so that's three times in half, and you're going to end up with a little kind of a triangular banner shaped piece like that if it's all held down together. Okay, I've got another piece, I'll go ahead and do that again. Back side up, fold it in half, fold that piece in half again, and one more time in half. Okay, you're going to do that with all eight of your scallop circle pieces. I've already done the other six, so you're not going to see me do that. But um, So I now have eight of them. They've all been folded up. Then I'm going to take that backing piece of paper, and I'm going to go ahead and liberally put, apply some glue. I'm going to use Glossy Accents. I've also used Fabri-Tac. They both work great. I like Glossy Accents a little better because it has a stronger hold and it tends to dry a little bit faster. So, there we are. We got some glue on that piece. Then, you're going to make sure you take each of these and one side there's two flaps and the other side is just one piece. I like to stick the side with the two flaps down. You're going to take all eight pieces, make sure they're all going the same direction, and you're going to Oh, the other thing I did on this backing piece is I punched a hole right in the center of it because I'm going to adhere uh, a brad through the center of this flower. So I went ahead and punched off. Plus, that helps guide me as to where to place the petals. So I'm going to take the tip of that first petal and I'm going to put it up against that hole. Leave the hole open. Don't cover it up. And put my first petal down. Then I'm going to take my second petal. Once again, the double edges goes down flat. Line it right up with that first one you did. And you're going to work your way all the way around this circle with your eight different pieces. And there's one. Got three more to go. And you'll notice that that back piece, that piece we're adhering to, is not going to be noticeable by the time I get all of these little petals on here. However, I do have to say that I have made this flower where I've cut out a bigger circle behind and I've used it as just a layering piece so that you can see the flower behind just has a little more dimension. Okay, so now I've got all of those on there. Normally I would wait for that to dry, but of course we're on the video camera and I'm sure you all don't want to spend five, ten minutes waiting for me to let my flower dry. 
So this may come apart while I'm doing this, but that's only because my glue, as you all know, is not dry yet. So there we have all eight of those attached onto the circle. And I'm going to take a brad. You can use a button, you can use rhinestones, um, anything you want. I'm going to go ahead and stick it through that hole there in the center that I punched earlier. Well, if my brad tongs will go together and I can get them through at the same time. There we go. And then we can flatten that down in the back. And voila! There is your new three-dimensional pinwheel flower. Um, these are really fun actually to make with tissue paper because then you can go and you can really fluff, get in and fluff up and ruffle up the uh, different petals. A little harder to do when you're using a cardstock thickness paper, but it's real fun to do with uh, tissue paper. Alright, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you with the next video.